Krista, and I'm an intern at Coral Restoration Foundation, the world's largest nonprofit actively working to restore the Florida reef track. Did you know corals have this teeny tiny plant like organism that lives in their bodies? For today's main attraction, we're talking magnets and mutualism. Now, there's a few things you're going to want to get before you watch the rest of this video so that you can follow along with me at home. First, you're going to want permission from an adult. Next, you're going to want eye protection. You're also going to need a nail, copper wire, iron shavings, a D battery, and a watertight container that has a lid. I'll let you pause the video so you can go ahead and grab your supplies. Have everything you need? Awesome, let's get started. So the first thing you're going to do is put water in your container and that is going to act as our ocean for the day. Next, you're going to want to take your lid and puncture a hole so that the nail can fit through it. You're also going to want to make two holes about the size of the pin so that your wire can feed through later on in this video. Next, you're going to want to wrap your copper wire around your nail. I have one free coiled here. And you notice that I left free wire on both ends, and you're going to want to do the same with yours. Corals and a plant-like organism called zooxanthellae have a mutualistic relationship. In other words, it's a win-win situation. The corals provide a home for the zooxanthellae, and in return, the zooxanthellae give corals 90% of their daily intake of food and help them make a protective slime. To learn more about that, check out our slime video later. Awesome! Now that you guys have finished wrapping the wire around the nail, you're going to want to feed your wire through those two holes that we made earlier. Now, when we're done with this, this will represent our coral. But, it's looking kind of sad and it's very hungry. So, we're going to need to attract some zoos and LA to live in the coral. You're going to take your iron shavings and put them into about a teaspoon size and make sure you avoid any eye contact at this point. Now, to attract these zoos and LA to your coral, you're going to need to make an electromagnet. Now, you're going to take both ends of the battery and attach them to the sides of the wire. Once you have that done, you will take your zoos and belly and pour them into your container. The zoos and belly quickly find their home in the corals and get to work right away. In some species of corals, 1.4 million zoos and belly live in just one square centimeter of coral to provide them food so they can grow big and strong. All right, that's all we have for today. I hope you guys learned a bit more about the mutualistic relationship between corals and zoos and belly, and that you had fun doing the activity along with me at home. For videos like this and more, feel free to follow us on Facebook and Instagram, or visit our website at coralrestoration.org for the latest and greatest at CRF, ways that you can get involved with us, and simple tips and tricks for how to save corals right from your own home. All right, thanks everyone, bye.